Today we're making this awesome inflated 3D effect in Adobe Firefly and Photoshop. All right, y'all, go ahead and open up Photoshop. Type something cool out. Make sure that your type is black on a white background. And because we're making this foil balloon 3D inflated effect, I recommend using a font that is definitely on the bubbly side. Once you're done with that, the next move is to save as a JPEG. Now go ahead and jump into Adobe Firefly and we're going to the text to image section. Make sure it's on image three preview. And then the aspect ratio, I like to work in widescreen. So go ahead and change that up. Click on photo. And then on your structure, that's where we're gonna place our type. And style is where we're gonna place our AI generated texture. So speaking of texture, let's go ahead and start working on our prompt. I'm gonna type in something that will work very well for this. As soon as the prompt is typed out, all we need to do is hit generate. Now it might take a few times to generate new images, but the key is to find something that is isolated on black. Otherwise it doesn't work as well. Now I usually go ahead and download a few different options and I'll keep them on my folder and I can always resort to them in the future for future projects. So after saving a few options, I'm now ready to drop in the type. So I'm going to our structure and then I'm just gonna upload our typography. And then after you upload your typography, go ahead and increase the strength all the way. And then we can go down to styles and in styles, I'm going to upload one of the balloon textures that I created with the prompt. Now that that's uploaded, I usually like to try keeping the visual intensity and the strength down to zero. Because sometimes if you go a little too intense with a little too much strength, it makes it a little too abstract. So once you're there, go ahead and hit generate one more time. And like that, we've already got some pretty cool options to work with. All right, here's the one I went with. I went ahead and dropped it back into Photoshop and you can see how close it is to the type that we originally created. From here, I'm just going to probably mask out these letters and then mess around with the background and maybe tweak the colors a little bit to create the thumbnail for this video. 